Shalom, this is Sophia Americana, your friendly neighborhood Schumann, and we're here to have a discussion about transmutation. Um, I have been asking the question, since we can now basically chart our energies, the energies that are assigned to us for the year, um, how do we, if we have um, energies that are not favorable, how do we then transmute those energies? And um, I understand that uh, a lot of people have been doing this naturally, but I like to have a way to explain it to people who are not necessarily naturally capable of doing this kind of transmutation because everybody is saying, oh, you have to transmute the energy if it's bad, you know, whatever, whatever. But there's no real understanding of what that is, what it looks like how to do it they can't tell you they can just give you a bunch of you know like vague oh try this try that kind of applications and um you know me i don't really care for that too much because i need something simple enough to explain to my kids i need something simple enough to apply to my kids i need something simple enough to explain to my teenager um so that she doesn't have to get trapped in this cycle of this this gnarly energy so I think I have figured out um, a way to do this um, and even though this is kind of like an advanced uh, process um, I still find that I'm going to make it public so that people can at least get a feel for the energy um, and start to identify the energy as it comes into their field of being now this sort of information is very very useful very very helpful if you have gotten a reading from me using the proper um tarot spiral with the information in the right places um if you haven't gotten a reading from me and you're capable of doing that kind of thing on your own um then this information will also be helpful for you um, if you haven't done any of that and you're not really interested in that, this information will also be helpful for you because I'm going to explain how this works using the general energy for the year. And so then you can see how the general energy that's coming in, how you can, um, uh, how, can how you can use the general energy to make your life better. Um, and I just highly suggest people... I'm, I'm able, capable to do readings now because we're out of school, um, but, you know, I don't know how long that's going to last um, because I, if I get too many readings and I have to, I have to put them on hold because they're very intense. I do a lot of channeling and um, I, I'm very thorough. So if you haven't gotten a reading from me, now is a good time to think about it. Uh, I do have time to do readings. Um and you'll get a lot of this information baked in now that I know it. If you've already gotten a reading from me and you want some clarification on this, please reach out to me. I'm not going to charge you to tell you how to do this. It makes absolutely no sense. I will just go over your chart with you with these things in mind. So please don't try to pay me again if you've already got a chart. Um, just reach out to me and we'll... We'll, we'll schedule a talk, okay? But if you haven't gotten a reading from me, then I suggest now's the time you make this investment. This will save you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of struggle over the course of the next year and moving forward. This is something that is not going to change. This is the new... I'm not saying that. Um... This is one of the new systems that is going to govern the earth. I do believe this is an old system, but it is a system that has been recovered so that we can use it in this time. This is one of the systems that is going to be um, prevalent moving forward. Um, I predicted so many things correctly. Um, you know, even the things that I predicted incorrectly, I thought about it, you know, uh, like the Super Bowl thing, right? Because if San Francisco had won the Super Bowl, then there would have been a major popcorn outbreak 
there instead of in Kansas City. So I feel like Kansas City, um, you know, that was just an ended that 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 incident that happened was an indication that they uh, did something they weren't supposed to. And so that energy was unleashed on them. And if you just look at what the weather that's happening, their actions have had consequences. So, you know, that's what they get. Stop cheating and stop trying to make the ones out here doing this spiritual work look crazy. Um, and maybe y'all will get some peace. However, until then, um, you know, no peace. No peace until you come honest and clean and play fair sports ball, I guess, for these people who like this sports ball crap. Because it's really annoying for them to be complaining about how rigged everything is when y'all really could just be playing fair sports ball. So that's my little disclaimer. All right, so this is the um, the little write-up I did for the year. Um, and as you can see right now, we are in Jupiter Energy. That started May 26th and it'll go to July 1st. That's Five of Wands Energy. Now, Five of Wands Energy is neither bad nor good. It's just kind of a, you know, it could be people fighting or it could be people working together. It's, it's up for interpretation. It's a, it's a change of direction, right? The previous energy we had was Mars energy, and that was from April the 20th to May the 26th, and that was Ten of Swords. Now, Ten of Swords is bad energy. Ten of Swords is self-sabotage. Ten of Swords is the end of the road. So let's talk about the Ten of Swords energy first. Um, again, here we are, Mars energy, Ten of Swords, that's right in the middle of our chart. Um, and we have double Ten of Swords energy. Oh, you can see it here too. We come back to Ten of Swords energy. So knowing how to, to um, um, transmute Ten of Swords energy is a very useful skill to have because we deal with that twice. All right, here's our tarot spiral. I'm just going to zoom in. So, um, and if you want a copy of this, just send me an email and I'll send it to you. I don't have posters or anything printed out yet. I'm trying to get this done a little bit neater. But um, anyway, you can, you can get the idea. So we're talking about Ten of Swords energy. So let me zoom in on... Why is I'm having such a hard time zooming? All right, so as you can see, Ten of Swords energy is in the Sagittarius slice, okay? It's the third card in the Sagittarius slice, the Ten of Swords energy. All right, so the opposite of that, Sagittarius, is going to be the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands energy in the Gemini slice ruled by Mercury, okay? That is the opposite. And as you can see, they're right across from each other. So that's how I figured out what is the opposite. Okay. And this is why the tarot spiral has to be done correctly. If you've got random cards with random placements all over, it'll never, you can't figure this out. That's why they got the decans all messed up for people who follow traditional tarot that's with the traditional way that they interpret it it's all confusion like it doesn't go in order so you can't make any you can't do this kind of work without this kind of um very specific very detailed information so all right so i showed y'all where the ten of so we got ten of swords energy so we want to swap that out for ten of wands energy so we want to know where gemini is in our chart okay so here's our chart for our new year as you well let me look at the whole sign house chart now this is a this is a bell curve astrology teaching point. So this is why you would use your whole sign house chart as opposed to your um, Placidius chart. The whole sign house is going to be um, better for this kind of um, uh, astrotherography. Okay. This is real specific. So as you can see, um, this is a chart for the new year. So this is where the chart that I based the other... Um, pictographs off of and we have um gemini in the ninth house now let me go back one more time just to make sure y'all understand okay in the astrology i mean i'll use this one in the astrology chart i assigned the different placements of these planets to tarot cards okay 
we follow this tree in order this is this is the the tree now i've explained this before but i don't know if people have really been watching me that long and some new people might kind of stumble over here so i'm just going to explain it using that tarot spiral that i just had on the screen i assign cards to the different uh planets and their placements okay the planetary placement where we just came out of was the Ten of Swords, which is Mars down here. You can see, you can see Mars. The next one we have is Five of Wands, right? So what we're going to do, we know we have Ten of Swords. That Ten of Swords in our chart, where's the regular chart? No, we just use it from here. That Ten of Swords, the opposite of the Ten of Swords based on this tarot spiral which of course inspired by lord Aseron, i made a few changes to it to make it cohesive um and you can find his youtube channel on here the opposite of that is the ten of wands okay so you have the ten of swords down here in the sagittarius slice you have the ten of wands up here in the gemini slice so we want to find gemini in our chart so now we're looking over here at our chart not this one the whole sign house this is our chart for the new year for the the gregorian new year right we're looking for gemini gemini is in the ninth house you see a nine you see zero degrees gemini gemini is in the ninth house this is the energy that will counteract this sagittarius energy and by counteract i mean it's the equal and opposite. Remember, what are those? Newton's laws? Is that Newton's laws? Yeah, Newton's laws of motion. Okay, Newton's laws of motion are can be paraphrased as this. A body remains at rest or in motion at a constant speed in a straight line, except insofar as it is acted upon by force. So in the case of looking at this chart, if we have Ten of Swords energy that's coming in, if you don't do anything to interact with that Ten of Swords energy, you're going to have that Ten of Swords energy. There's nothing, no, mm, I'm not going to say that y'all um there's no outside force that's going to stop you from experiencing that ten of swords energy unless you do something about it it's not going to naturally not be an issue you have to take an action number two at any instant of time the net force on a body is equal to the body's acceleration multiplied by its mass or equivalently at the rate in which the body's momentum is changing with time so if you are not changing with time meaning if you're not doing something to influence the time you are going to experience the time as is now remember the bible said that the most high would speed up the time at the end for the elect this is the speeding up of that time. If you don't do anything, the time is going to continue to move very slow for you. For me, time is moving faster. As the, the more I understand this stuff, the faster time is moving for me. Number three, if two bodies exert forces on each other, these forces have the same magnitude but in opposite directions. That's the one that we're capitalizing off of in this. If we have Ten of Swords energy coming at us and it's in Sagittarius, the opposite of that is um, our ninth house Gemini energy. And we can harness or transmute that Ten of Swords, uh, that Ten of Swords energy in um, Sagittarius into gemini energy ninth house gemini energy we can take all of the energy that's naturally being a because they're going to move in equal equal and opposite directions so you remember like it just said with the momentum you can change your momentum and move towards the ninth house gemini energy and leave that sagittarius energy behind that's a complete choice that's up to you it has nothing to do with nobody else but you and your actions 
no extraterrestrials, no um, little G gods, no um, uh, uh, ancestors, no um, uh, Anunnaki, no any of these people is going to affect this. This is you and your choices. Now what they do, these extraterrestrials or the Anunnaki or whoever, what they do is they convince you to take an equal and opposite motion. Mm -mm, not right now. You have to wait. They convince you to take an equal and opposite motion. So you, it's still you doing it, but these things get into your head, they attach to you, they whatever, and they convince you to do something different than what is in your best interest, which is why you have to always be working on your best interest. Again, if you have your chart, this is real specific to your chart. But if you don't have a reading that explains to you, breaks all this stuff down to you, you can figure it out. I, I mean, the, I gave the chart away for free, but I haven't explained it all in detail because it takes too much time. And I haven't, you know, I tried to do a class on it. I didn't really get like a lot of positive feedback, so I just kept it to myself. Not that I want to keep it to myself, but people do, people are not interested in working on themselves, honestly. Um, from what I see, everyone is more interested in who is coming to save us, um, what's, what's going on with Karen or the Professional Victims Unit, um, you know, what's going on with black celebrities and the downfall of all these people, and people aren't worried about themselves I can do more than one thing at a time so for me it's not hard but I understand that people don't really have that capability and their attention spans are very very slow so the more time you invest into anything that's outside of yourself and your understanding and your relationship with it the worse it is because that's what is really happening you're investing a lot of time in things that are outside of yourself and not the things that are inside yourself like this all right, so again, I read y'all the Newt Newtonian mechanics. This is inherently in tied to this. So let's look at what ninth house um, Gemini energy is. Okay, this is ninth house Gemini. So it says this house rules your beliefs. So you may be quite varied. You may pick up some from here and there, though you may be heavily influenced by your immediate environment. This house rules higher learning, so you may deeply study two different things in your life. So the way to counteract this Ten of Swords energy, and wherever you have Ten of Swords, um, well, not wherever, specifically in this chart for this year, the way to counter this Ten of Swords energy is deep research. And as many of you all know who are in any of my groups, we've been in some really deep research the last 36 days from contracts. We've been going over the, the contract law. We've um, been going over some, um, we started our group for the, um, the people who want to do, uh, who want to secure um, their family's interest in the full faith and credit of the United States. We've gone into some really, really deep research on um, even the astrology in our Lunation group and talking about um, the Queen's Kabbalah and stuff like that. We've gone really, really heavily into those things. And that is why uh, at least the people, um, I hope the people who are uh, in cahoots with me did not experience no Ten of Swords energy. I realized I wasn't experiencing no Ten of Swords energy. And I wasn't really sure why that was, but I knew that um, I was okay with that. I, I, I wasn't, you know, pushing back against it, although I had braced myself for it. I saw a lot of Ten of Swords energy around me, though, like people having really hard times. A lot of, like I said, um, you know, people just being emotionally and physically burnt out. I've seen a lot of that, but I really didn't have that in my experience. And so, um, and that's due to the fact that number one, I'm tuned into the energy. And number two, I was without knowing I, because I'm tuned into the energy, I was able to follow these principles, but I don't want it to be, oh, I'm just tuned into the energy. I'm going to naturally do this. I wanted the explanation so that I could bring it to you all. All right, so let's go back. Now, the next, the energy that we're in right now is Five of Wands energy. So let me bring this up again so you can see it. We are in Five of Wands energy. 
Five of Wands energy is Taurus energy. So the equal and opposite of that Five of Wands energy is Five of Swords energy. But Five of Swords energy is in um, Scorpio. So if we look back here at our chart, we have Scorpio, not this one, <laughs> we have Scorpio in the second house. So to counter that Five of Wands energy that we're in right now, all the way to all the way until July the 1st, we need to engage in Scorpio in the second house behavior. Now, what does that look like? The second house governs money and values. So a Scorpio second house shows you shows you may transform the way you make money or handle money as well as the values you have in life. The values you initially have growing up may not last as you get older. You can feel more confidence once you do have values that you're passionate about. So at this time, you should be focusing on your values and your money. Really be serious about getting your money, um, uh, investing it or whatever the case may be, um, uh, attracting it to you. But for sure, if you can't really do anything in the money realm, be 100% on your values. Who are you? Where's your red line? What what is acceptable and unacceptable? What um, will you deal with and what won't you deal with? You need to really, really, really focus on that, especially if you don't have money, focusing on your values. Get really, really serious about your values. You got 36 days of this until July the 1st. This is how you counteract that energy of the five of wands or rather direct that energy, transmute that energy so that you get what you want because five of wands is about fighting and what are people fighting over in the second house or well in the eighth house people will be fighting over um death rebirth other people's money that kind of stuff so instead of you worried about other people's money worry about your money because the eighth house is death and rebirth other people's money um that kind of stuff so in order to counteract that, you need to focus on your money. So if you can pick up extra hours, get a little summer job, that's what I did. Um, you know, whatever you can do, or like now I'm telling y'all, if you want your charts, I can do charts. So, you know, go ahead to the website and place an order. The links, my links in my, my description aren't clickable anymore. So you'll have to copy and paste or whatever to get over there. If you go to Fruits and Spirit, you should be able to find it or send me an email and I'll send you the link. Um, because they took away my click, clickability. Um, because apparently I'm shadow banned. So they took away my clickability. So anyway, um, this is how you are able to transmute this energy. So I hope you understand. Transmutation has to do with N Newtonian mechanics, which we just read. I read it to you. That's exactly what transmutation is. It's taking the energy that's already going in one direction and redirecting it to a direction that's that's in this case more favorable to you that gives you an advantage that is something that you want as opposed to being whatever is just out there you can redirect this energy into something that you want so i will try to um when we're getting ready to switch energies do an update like this and tell you how to um how to navigate the energies that are coming up um so that we can try at least um you can if you can't you know get a reading for yourself you can at least stay on top of the energy that's coming into the planet so i hope that makes sense um this video didn't have to be really long <clears throat> but i did want to explain to people um how to um navigate the energy that's coming in so again this energy that's coming in um now is already up here until july the first has to do with money and values so you focus on your money and focus on your values and you will um be able to navigate and transmute this energy into something that you can use so for example i use myself as an example i have a really debilitated placement um that's the three of swords energy which you can see here is libra energy right and so the opposite of this uh three of swords energy is the three of 
wands energy well three of wands energy in my chart is in my sixth house my aries placements no it's in my fifth house no 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 it's no 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 it's in my sixth house and so in order for me to make sure that i don't end up in this three of swords energy which is self-deletion um i have to focus on putting the burdens that people are trying to have that is trying to self-inflict itself on me and putting it back on someone else so i will tell you a story about how this actually played out for me i was um sending a package somewhere and um you know the package i paid extra to send it overnight the package did not arrive overnight and so i started panicking because this was a pretty important package that i had sent and i didn't know where it was so i decided this morning to go to um the, the facility where they said the package was because it hadn't moved and see if they could pull it for me with the anticipation that i might have to get on the road and actually deliver the package by hand so um i go to the facility the post office facility which is not a normal post office facility there's literally no one there to deal with customers customers are not supposed to be there so i went there i walk in and i'm like i have no idea what's going on so a late a girl walks in she sees me walk in and this girl walks in and she's like um do you need some help i was like yes i have a package it was supposed to be overnight i don't it says that it's here is there any way you guys can get it i will i will deliver it myself but i need to put my hands on that package so what happens was the girl um she was like well we don't do that here i said yeah but this is really important i i mean i don't have an extra copy of this i just want i need to put my hands on this package okay so she's like well you know what let me go get a, a manager and as soon as she said that, she was like, here's a supervisor right now. He is literally walking in the door. And I'm telling him, you know, this is really important. It's like, I don't have a copy of this. I really need to, to get this package. And he's like, okay, I can't make any promises, but I'm going to, um, I'll look into it. So he, he takes my tracking number. He goes into the back. All the time that I'm there, people are asking, have you been helped? Do you need help? I'm like, I'm, okay, I've been helped. Thank you. Um, every like every single person which I've, I mean I've never seen such friendly people at the post office they surely ain't that friendly when I go in there with all my mail trying to get them to do stuff that they don't want to do um, so this particular um, like I said I, so I, I'm in the I'm waiting for the guy to come back he comes back he's like you know what it's not here but it was scanned onto you know this particular van and so it probably has left the state so he says call the number on here and ask, op have them open the case on it i was like okay thank you so much i really appreciate it because that was more information than i had previously so i go out sit in the car i call the number i open the case and i'm like what's going on i don't know where the package is i paid for overnight it's i don't know where it is they don't know where it is at the facility what's going on so when they open the case they send it to somebody else and they look into it it wasn't even two hours later that um the package just automatically updated in the system after two days of literally nothing this thing was i sent this on tuesday it's friday it's literally friday the patch it, it just poof and updated and it actually was delivered today now i was getting ready to get on here crying like i gotta go up the road i need some help now i'm like mm, i don't have to go up the road you know so the the package got where it need to be what needs to be done will be done with it everything was ha everything was handled and i didn't even have to panic so that's how i so how i transmuted that three of swords energy you know because i was an intermediary for someone else right this is somebody else's thing i'm just trying to help them with how i was able to transmute that energy is instead of taking all of that pressure on myself in my own heart and soul i put it back on the people whose problem it was there's nothing i can do about a package once i put it in the mail 
that's their job to get it handled. So I updated the person I was helping out. I, you know, I, I kept the communication open. I didn't freeze up and, you know, like run away from it. I was like, look, if I have to get on the road, intercept it anywhere along the way, I'm ready to do that because I don't believe in a saying I'm going to help somebody do something and then like not getting it done. Like it's going to get done. Now, is it late? Yes, because this thing um, the person was hoping to have this thing handled this week, but now it's not going to be handled until Monday. So doesn't matter. It's still going to get done. It's just going to get done on Monday, um, which is, you know, they, they were OK with that. Um, they said, you know, things happen that are outside of our control. But because I was working so diligently on it, the person understands I mean business like I will get in my car at any moment and go and handle it. Like if it's something that I can't handle in person. Um, and that was what I was more concerned about is making sure that my reputation didn't become one of, oh, well, when you have her do something for you, it's always a problem, this and that. No, 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 no. I made sure everything was handled, but that was outside of my control. If I had sent it with UPS or whoever, who knows that this wouldn't have also happened. So it just happened to be, this is just one of those things. And so again, I've transmuted that energy, that three of swords energy that is assigned to me at this time, um, that I just came into this energy. So I transmuted that energy with an equal and opposite force. And I was able to navigate through this. Now I'm done with that energy because like I've told you, once you learn the lesson of the energy that's coming up, you're done with that energy. You don't have to keep relearning that energy unless you're like me and you have like, or like this year where we have like two ten of swords energy, you know, uh, it's on, that's the only one that's double is we have double ten of swords energy. So if you have double ten of swords energy or something like that, then you might have to, if you have double energy or sometimes triple energy, then you might have to do stuff over and over and over again. But nine times out of 10, once you get the lesson, that's it. The rest of my time in this particular energy should be pretty good. I should be able to enjoy the benefits of the celestial alignments that are coming in that are really good. Like this Venus Kazemi that's happening on, um, I think it's happening on Sunday. And then we have the, the, the Gemini new moon, which is a really good new moon. Um, if you're not in my new moon group, you might um, want to go ahead and join that. The um, Well, the link is in the bio, but you can't click it. You'll have to copy and paste it but um, or type it in, whatever you'll find it. So um, I'll be putting out the video for that shortly. Um, but I wanted to get this out here first. So um, that's my experience. And then I double checked it with another... Um, person who follows their energy closely and we also found that without her even knowing because she's tapped into the energy she was able to um, naturally negate this energy by um, you know uh, not in the necessarily the physical realm but in the spiritual realm so there's many ways to learn the lesson that has to be learned. But if you don't identify the lesson, then it's kind of like it gives them a reason to continue to give you these lessons over and over again. So I've learned the lesson of the three of swords. I, I have this energy every year. It won't get me like this again because I know, hey, when that three of swords energy is coming in, it's time for me to identify who's responsible and put it back on them. Period. And that's really as much as you have to do. Um, whatever it is, uh, you just put it, You the equal and opposite is in your chart. So again, like I always say, everything is in your chart. And if you're not spending time learning your chart, really getting to understand it, um, amongst other things, you're doing yourself a disservice and you're making your ascension process take far... Take what? take far longer than it has to because you could be you could be done by now you know what I mean like a lot of us who we, we've already learned these lessons these are not oh this is our first but no 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 we've already learned these lessons so there's no reason to continue to learn them over and over and over again and the reason that you are learning them over and over and over again because you haven't identified what lessons are for you to learn and then make sure that you learn them. So now whenever this three of swords energy comes up, 
Now, it doesn't get handled the same every time. This is why you have to specifically know where it is in your chart. Because for me, it was my my Aries uh, placement is in my sixth house. So it's not going to be the same for everybody. But for me, it was putting a responsibility on who it belongs to. And it will be different based on your placements in your chart. But at least if people are in difficult energy, we can identify where the problem is and do something about it. We're not, um, we're not limited in how to help people if they need help. And that has been my goal overall. If people are having a really, really hard time, a really tough time, um, there's something that we can do to help. We're not limited in our ability to help to just, just medical or, uh, just candles or, just astrology, just terror. We're not limited. I can go into multiple realms and pull out the best solution that's for the problem that the person has. And that's what we are going to be focused on in our, um, our mystery school, um, is how to solve multiple different kinds of problems in different ways, um, using basic, simple tools. Um, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I haven't announced that yet. It, it will be announced soon. Matter of fact, I can tell you right now, it's going to be launched on 8-8. Um, it's going to be launched on 8-8. So just, um, and it, it more than likely is going to have a fee associated with it of some sort, something small, because it's going to be physical resources that you have to get. Um, and there's no way I can provide a bunch of physical resources without some kind of compensation unless the most how is going to make some arrangements for that to be the case um so i wanted to say that so y'all can start just putting you know a couple dollars aside so that you'll be prepared when that happens right so i hope this has been helpful um like I said, if you haven't ordered your chart yet, you may want to consider doing that. Um, now is a good time. I have time to do charts. Um, I should be able to get them done in a reasonable fashion. Uh, although I know why it's been taking me so long. This is the part that I didn't have down. Like I wanted to really be able to help people if they had problems and I hadn't really figured out how to, to do that. Um, and now we have a solution for people who have difficult placements like me. Three of Swords is, is, is one of... All the Swords placements are not as difficult as Three of Swords. That is, that is literally like in your heart heartbreak that you are inflicting on yourself. That is a very difficult... That is take yourself out. Literally take yourself out energy. Matter of fact, I think that's really the only one that's a, a self-deletion energy on the, on the chart. Because you're, it's, it's in your heart, man. It's, it's in your heart. <laughs> Which, if you're a person who has a strong heart, it's really difficult to take that energy. And I feel like I have successfully navigated it. I learned that lesson. I've demonstrated that I learned the lesson. I know the lesson. The lesson, if it shows up again, I know exactly how to deal with it. You know, this is for the posterity of that. It's in the it's in a ley line. It's, it's, it's in a bunch of different places. Can't be taken away from me. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of this is. This you, you have to know this stuff so that it can't be taken away from you. Because a lot of times stuff get taken away from people because they don't know. They don't really know it deep down on the inside. But um, but we're working on that, right? So I hope this meets everyone well. Shalom. And we will see you in the next video.